Rickshaws didn't originate in South Asia. They were first invented in Japan in 1869, called Jin Rikisha, literally meaning man-powered vehicle. Within just a few years, tens of thousands were on the streets of Japan. Hi everyone. Today, again, we are going to make a 3D reel, but today's focus will be mainly on the design of this video. So let's begin. As you can see over here, first there is this background, okay? which has some vignette on it. So first I'll just bring in a default text. Okay. Click on windows plus dot key and make this square. Now increase the size. Then let's make our ratio to nine is to 16. Okay. Let me make this big. Head on to effects and search for vignette. Okay, so now we have got our, you know, this effect. So the next thing is writing the text. Rickshaws didn't originate in South Asia. Select this. Okay, make this big. And let's, you know, put it here. Over. Now, for this map, so I just went on to Google Images and searched for map of South Asia and I got this. So I'm just going to make this bigger. Okay. Then I'll just head on to adjust. Decrease the saturation to make it black. Then I'll just make a copy of it. Head on to filters. Search for negative put it on top and then make it a compound clip then head on towards mask add mask split rotate this to 90 or oh sorry 180 and then feather it out okay to get this black and white mix now select this whole thing let's make it big and make it a compound clip okay Next thing is deselect uniform scale and just decrease the height to make it look like it's 3D. And then make it the uniform scale again and make this big. Now for the next part is this cycle animation. So for this what I've done is I went on to Sketchfab. Okay, the Sketchfab website. And there I searched for 3D object of rickshaw. Then I brought it in After Effects. Okay, because we can't make it complete 3D in CapCut. So after bringing it in After Effects, I just exported it as a 3D object and bought it in CapCut. So I have provided you everything in the description so you can use it in your videos. So I'll just bring it over here. Okay, and make this big something like this okay so we'll get this animation now after this animation you can see here there's text animation here so let's select this head on to animation and select for type 2 let's select the next text and same type 2 animation okay we have to just zoom this in so i'll just cut first all this text by hitting B, select all of them, hit Alt plus G to make everything a compound clip. Okay, head on to video, go ahead, again hit on the transform keyframe, go to the first keyframe and let's zoom this in. Hit Alt plus K, let's select quadies. I can also make it smoother by selecting this and dragging this out. And after this animation, you can see it's going out and then this is coming. Okay. So here again, I'll hit on transform keyframe and blend keyframe. Go ahead. Again, hit on transform and blend and make this small and make the opacity zero. Hit Alt plus K and then quadis. Ok, 
okay so we'll get this animation now for the second part okay which is you know this let's see the text they were first invented in japan so we'll be writing the text now i'll delete my map now okay and then i'll bring this gate put it over here like this and i'll bring my next 3d animation of this okay now let's do the same animation so i'll select these two text head on to animation type 2 bring this a bit forward the japan text there's another text here in 1869 let's bring this all to the center just going to select everything and hit b to cut select all hit or plus g to make them a compound clip hit on the video and the blend keyframe and make them you know big go ahead till here again hit on transform and blend keyframe and now align them properly the center of the frame in normal size hit or plus k quadis Go to the start let's make the opacity zero and make this quad is two so this will be our first animation but as you can see the fading out is starting from here so i'm just going to bring this over here okay let's move this along a bit and now from here what we can do is for the next animation it's going down okay hit on video go ahead again hit on the transform keyframe and drag this down hit or plus k for these now to bring the next scene which is this so this all images i have brought from google okay just going to place them over here bring this over here okay and the text reads jane rikisha okay put it below or behind this layer let's make it bold then i'll just copy this hit or plus g go inside the compound clip make it white video mask add mask split and then rotate it to 180 minus 180 and give it a bit of feathering okay to get this gradient look and now for the animation it will come from up okay so basically select all of this hit all plus g match with this okay timing of the keyframes hit on transform keyframe go here again hit on transform keyframe go to the start and drag this up hit or plus k and then select quadies okay let's make it slower towards the end so our animation will look something like this and what we can do for this next part is this part is the same as we did in our previous animations so this one part is a homework for you and let's now continue with the last part which is this map so in this map what i did is again i bought this from google images this png of japan map and it's red so first we have to make it white so i'll just head on to filters and put negative on this adjust increase the white okay and decrease the black I'll just copy this head on to curves 
decrease the weight okay delete this filter to make it black okay and now to give it a bit of shadow we just have to place it something like this head on to effects search for blur put it on this increase it a bit okay select this make it a compound clip and now head on to animation and select slide up and what i can do is to make that red part in the center just copy this okay and i'll just zoom this in now and then i'll head on to mask add mask okay select pen and let's you know trace this out okay let me just zoom this in more now i'll just copy this okay select this pillow layer okay this is also masked and we'll just delete the mask from here now select this and let's you know make this red so we can head on to select this red from filters and put it on top okay so you'll get this and now you can see you've got this red part now for the last part which is this location just simply you know put this over here first i'll just you know make this big head on to animation and just you know fade in put this over here and then slide up and again make it a compound clip let's bring it over here then we have to just make copies okay select the second one put it over here third one you know wherever you want okay hope you learned something new from this video see you in the next